In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series European exclusive Cad Bane figure from The Clone Wars. <laughs> Hi there, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Boss Bounty video, and welcome to my review of the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch Cad Bane from The Clone Wars. And of course, he is in the European Convention exclusive, as you can see before you now. I just want to say a big thank you to In Demand Toys in the UK for getting this out so quickly. Really appreciate the uh, the links you go to for me. Thank you very much. But I'm sure lots of other collectors have got this today as well. Um, we just want to take a look at the packaging. It is similar to the new packaging in that it does have the slant. Now, I don't actually own any of the new Black Series packaging. So you're going to have to let me know in the comments whether this exclusive is going to fit in with the other Clone Wars figures in terms of the image joining up. Obviously this Cad Bane finger probably will be released in the general line, but does this exclusive one allow you not to have to pick that figure up? I'm sure as collectors you'll probably want to pick both up anyway. But there is the packaging, we've got the Clone Wars on the front there, it's the yellow design which goes with the Clone Wars, and of course you've got Cad Bane and Toto 360. Star Wars The Black Series looking pretty awesome on the front. We've got the Hasbro logo at the bottom. There's the back of the box. Very plain indeed. Nothing going on and pretty much nothing on the side apart from Star Wars The Black Series logo. And again, nothing on the top. And there you go. You can really see the slant uh, going on there. It does slide open like this very nicely. And as you can see inside, we have the figure himself, his blasters and the Toto 360 figure. Again, I'm not too sure. You'll have to let me know in the comments whether this little guy will be included in the standard release. Something tells me that he won't be, but um, he looks pretty awesome and I can't wait to get these out. Of course, we're going to get these out right now, but if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm nearly at 10,000 subscribers, so it'll be pretty awesome to try and hit that very, very soon. And of course, hit a like if you happen to enjoy this video. But now we've had a look at the packaging, let's get the figure out itself and check him out. Now this is what it looks like when you get it out of the main box. Um, and I just want to say, don't worry to the people that are watching from the US. This exclusive will be released, I believe, on the 1st of October on Hasbro Pulse. So that'll probably be fastest finger first to get that. But um, yep, here in the UK, obviously being in Europe, I guess, we are able to get this early, which is a first, really. We don't usually get things early. All right, then. So we'll start off with the Toto minifigure I guess you can call him. Uh, being the Black Series he is fully articulated and I do like the paint job they've done on him. He's a good sort of silver colour. like the little yellow eyes and as I mentioned he is articulated so he's got a little ball jointed head. He's got little ball jointed arms. There's some waist articulation as well. Some articulation at the on the top of the legs. Little ball joints. Uh, nothing on the knee, but the feet the feet do swivel on a little ball as well. They move all around. So there's loads of little bits of articulation on this guy for being so small. I really do like the detail they've done into that. And of course, this is Toto. So I believe that he was once programmed with the sort of Jedi Temple security systems, uh, which is a nice little backstory for him. So yeah, nice little inclusion. But let's get on to the main figure. All right, so here is the Cad Bane figure and, you know, straight off from the bat, look at the detail that they've done on his torso. Loads and loads of detail going on there with his overcoat, which does open out. You can see all those gun belts around him. This guy really, really does have the cowboy Western feel to him, doesn't he? And he just looks great. We've got his gauntlets going on there with all sorts of little gadgets and wires and everything going up his arms. Some nice paint detail on his little gadget there on his arm. We have the side blasters in the holsters there on his legs, all painted the same color as his jacket. And the jacket goes all the way around. And we also do have a removable backpack, which is a nice little touch. Uh, but to have a look at this figure, we do need to take the hat off, which is removable. So there's his little hat with some nice silver deal detailing going all the way around it. Very nice indeed, but we'll, we'll leave the hat off so we can get a good look at that head sculpt. I believe this species is called a Duros. I think that's how it's pronounced. You can see his really good red eyes there, some nice detailing on him. And of course he has his 
breathing apparatus there from where he was force choked help him breathe and that goes all the way around and that's like a soft vinyl plastic and that just hangs on the back of his neck like that but yeah what, what struck me the most when i got this figure out was the detailing on the torso i mean the sculpt work there is really really good um, these do actually look like separate pieces as well placed around him or at least the bottom one does anyway that holds his holsters if we lift up his coat there you can just see how that's attached i don't think that's removable his belt his over jacket is a soft vinyl plastic as you can see and if we work our way down the figure the sculpting on the legs is fantastic and also the paintwork on the legs is awesome as well so some really nice sort of dry brushing effect that they've gone there on those legs it's like a gray plastic but then they've gone over it with like almost like a violet paint paint color there very nice indeed he's got his little rocket boosters on his legs which are articulated they spin like that very very nice let's bring him back into shot for you after seeing the uh, lower half of the figure but again yeah you can see all the sort of pipe working and wires joining onto his gauntlets on his arms there this arm's a little bit stiff now that actually looks like that pops out so maybe that's to help with restriction when you want to pose him and then maybe you can pop it back in after you've posed him how you want because obviously those arms are going to swivel and you might end up pulling that out so to stop that breaking because it does look like a thin piece of plastic they've made that so that pops out which is really good let's just see if the other one pops out as well don't think that one pops out it's just this one here so there he is he looks great doesn't he i mean it's been a long time coming i think the cad bane figure has been a figure that everybody has wanted in the black series and you know for a, for a predominantly 3.75 inch collector like myself i mean i do like the black series as well i get the odd ones like this one that are really really good but you know i'd love this figure in the in the in the vintage collection on a vintage card as well uh, we'll go over the articulation in a second i just wanted to give you a good look at the figure because obviously it is lots going on on there some very nice paintwork on that torso and on the neck of the of the garment that he's wearing really really good just see his teeth there as well now just quickly looking at the uh, double blasters that he has we'll take one out now so these are apparently the ll30 pistols blaster pistols and they are a really nice silver color with a brown handle and a nice piece of black detailing on the top pretty basic but i think they look really really good and of course his gauntlets had weapons in them as well things like flamethrowers and gas and that kind of stuff so he is armored to the teeth now i just wanted to show you the blasters in each hand they fit absolutely perfectly really grips them well with the trigger finger through the little eyelet there and same on the other hand as well really good fit they aren't going anywhere at all and uh, he looks brilliant wielding both let's put his hat on there just to make him look extra moody there you go okay we'll run down the articulation of the figure because there is plenty to go through and uh, you're, you're going to be able to get this guy in loads of decent poses so let's do that right now as i mentioned the backpack is removable we'll just take that off now just to make things a little bit easier and i would imagine if you wanted to take his overcoat off you probably could uh, it might be a bit of a stretch of the plastic so i'm not going to do it myself but i would imagine if you did want to do that you probably could so the head looks to be what is on a double ball joint so you have one in the top of the head like so and then you have one in the neck area as well so you can actually have his neck piece pointing one way and his head pointing another which is pretty awesome loads of range in that head these breathing apparatus are removable if you did want to do that you can take those out so that is one piece which is awesome as well shoulders are on a ball hinge and we do have the butterfly joint as well which is very nice 
goes all the way round. Really stiff joints, obviously, on a brand new figure. We have elbow hinges. We have a hinge at the wrist. We have an upper torso. Nothing at the waist. Just the upper torso there, but there's not too much range on there. I guess there is if you get the jacket out of the way. We have a ball jointed hips. So you can get him out about that far. You can kick forward that far. And single knee joints can go about that far. We do have a split at the thigh, a hinge on the ankle, and it's on a rocker. So loads of articulation. He looks fantastic. Really happy to have this guy in my collection. As I mentioned before, I don't have every Black Series figure that comes out, just the ones that I think look really, really good. And they've done a fantastic job with this figure. There is bags of detail. Let's get that back in there. Stunning amount of detail, especially on the waist up, on the gauntlets and all his detailing on his torso there. That is just fantastic. All right then guys, so that is Cad Bane from the Clone Wars in the Black Series. He is the European convention exclusive in that fancy box. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I appreciate you watching today. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.